Whoa, that's a hazard. Oh, sweet. All right, round two. All right, what have we here? You know, when you sit at home all night knowing that there's a car outside that shouldn't be here, you just gotta think to yourself, what would Jeffrey do? And then Jeffrey has to think to himself, what would Jeffrey do? What do you think, Jeffrey? Didn't come up with anything. All right, let's go with something. Good idea, other Jeffrey. Thanks. All right. It's unlocked? No. Vehicle protected. Oh, Jesus. Does your. No, it does not. Jeez. No. No. Okay. Well, now our options are a little limited here. You can't just open the door and fill it up with a million bouncy balls. I don't know where I would have gotten a million bouncy balls, but would have been pretty cool. Hmm. Smells like gasoline and diesel fumes in here. Shall I say, would it be a sin? Who put this here? This is a good idea. Oh, jeez. I like where your thoughts at, Jeff. But I don't think this is what you need right now. Nothing I could really do with that. Hmm. I should probably use that later. That won't do. Nothing be done up there. Overall, this whole environment in here is not providing much inspiration. A little disappointed. Oh wait, guys, I just had to show you my lovely bandsaw that I got for doing my friend's taxes last year. Works so well. I love it. If there's one thing that I hate, it's being uninspired. You know, when you sit at a desk job all day, you kind of lose that creativity. You kind of lose that oomph. You kind of lose that mojo. Jeffrey needs to get his mojo back. Yeah. All right, we're going inside now. Not falling for that one again. All right, let's check the old boob tube pooter here. See what other people are doing. Maybe there could be a little inspiration here. Let's try and get some ideas, you know? Not everything's original. Nothing's original. The trending page, huh? Let's see what we got. H3HC, we're pregnant. Ah, oh, it happens every day. Can you spot the notch? That sounds a little bit too technological. Ninja's still alive, that's fantastic. Doctor fails idiot tests. I'm sure he's a doctor of something stupid. That looks unrealistic. Wow, ours are like nothing good going on on YouTube. This is kind of crazy. Eight kitchen gadgets, five kitchen gadgets. That's just misleading. Oh, Jack Black's on here? Oh, I love Tenacious T. Old Tanakh. Pancake Art Challenge. These guys are still doing that? They need to work on their facial expressions. All right, so clearly this is all just a bunch of trash on here. I don't know why people watch this crap. Was that meta? Was that was that a meta statement just now? Wait a minute. Wait. Wait just a minute here. I forgot I had all these left over. Oh, this is from when we tried to get Frat Bookie in his tent. We had so much extra. Like, look, this one hasn't even been touched. Hmm. Um, this is exactly what it looks like. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Hmm. Not to pimp this ride. He's got something in there. It's like giving off some sort of like emergency back signal. A little concerned. I'm very concerned. I was gonna tape up a little bit more of this. Oh my god, guys, there she is. Ain't she a beaut? Ain't she a beaut? I like just barely had enough wrapping paper. Like there's a little bit in the back that's not really covered, but shh. Who's gonna go to the back? Nobody goes to the back. Who likes the back? <laughs> well, I better clean up this mess I made. Jeez. All right guys, so we just wrapped up Swift's car and I realized that I don't know when they're coming home exactly. So this could be a long wait. So you know what I figured? You know what? Everyone else is doing it. I'm gonna do it too. I'm gonna do a YouTube rewind for 2018 for myself. I know what you're thinking because Jeffrey, you weren't on YouTube that much in 2018. Hey, you know what? It's not just about YouTube, it's about my life 2018 and all the channels that I kind of impacted as well, like my brothers, Swifts, etc. So without further ado, let's get into it. So 2018 started with a very interesting turn of events. 2017, I quit my job for YouTube, but then in Jan January 2nd, 2018, I started work as a governmental auditor for a firm that had me driving three and a half hours as my commute. Yeah, that's a heck of a commute, right? Not only that, on the same exact day, I got sworn in as mayor of Pittsgrove Township, which is the place that my father was also mayor and township committee person, and adjacent to the area that my grandfather was mayor of Elmer and also borough councilman. <laughs> Right off the bat, starting this year off with a bang. During this time, I had very limited time, so I wasn't really participating in YouTube too much. However, I was acting my brother's My Virtual Escape series as the character Michael. I think you guys will notice that it, throughout the second season and then on, Michael's role had been a little diminished. As you can imagine, my time availability had kind of impacted that just a little bit. During this time, you can see that I'm looking a little bit more disheveled and the actual like job has been kind of impacting my appearance. 
Uh, that was the intent of the character. However, that was me looking sleep deprived and just all around not physically healthy. In consideration of that, I left that job in June to go become a city CFO slash treasurer for a local area in New Jersey. But that wasn't before we finished the My Virtual Escape series in Hawaii and Oahu. I filmed a couple vlogs while in Hawaii, nothing too crazy. Uh, af after that, I kind of did a uh, dog blanket challenge at the request of my mother and my uncle. Sadly, that brings me to one of the biggest points of 2018, which that was the last video that Ella, uh, has appeared in on my channel. That was, without a doubt, uh, the hardest moment of 2018. And I think in the video that I uploaded, you all saw the pain that I was going through personally. And then also my brother's video, you saw all the pain that he was also going through. However, with every bad thing, there's usually a good thing. And it all really depends on the amount of perspective that you decide to apply to it. Before Ella had passed, I had gotten a puppy, named her Kate, and I think that she has been uh, an absolutely amazing dog. Uh, I was very happy that Ella was able to meet her, so that there was a relationship that those two were sisters. I was able to reconnect with YouTube after the whole Ella situation. I did a couple videos antagonizing my brother. Not long after that, I did a prank where I painted my brother's car pink. Uh, Swift and I had handled that, and I'm actually looking at I'm, I have a setup on the window right now because I like the lighting, but I'm able to see it right now. I'm like, yeah. I did that. And during this time, I kind of realized that, you know, Jeffrey, you don't like what you do day to day. You should figure out a way out of it. So I seized an opportunity where I could manipulate my brother into signing a document that allowed me financial access to his channel. And from there, our relationship kind of got a little rocky. Not to say that it wasn't already rocky throughout everything, but I mean, all spade a spade, our relationship hasn't always been that great. Through no fault of my brother's, he he had fired his cameraman Swift, uh, and then me seeing another opportunity, I hired Swift uh, under certain conditions that I would not have to pay him, he would be paying his own way. Regretfully, it didn't turn out the way I wanted to, but we'll get to that later. During this time, me and my brother are now proceeding to compete with each other. He hires Dominic Maisto as his cameraman, and Swift is not happy about that. Uh, it, my father finds out that my brother hasn't been living in LA and has no intentions of living in LA and proceeds to tear down the wall in the basement in response to this and decides to kick my brother out. In an attempt to help alleviate the situation, I try and relocate my brother, but he panics and bails in the process and we lose him for a few days. After finding him, we uh, created this deal with my father and now my brother's back in the house until mid-January. During this time, I'm like, yeah, you know what would be great? What would be great for the Big Brother Entertainment Channel to use my brother in thumbnails and just target him completely. Lately. So me and Swift could cock several different prank ideas and unfortunately for me and I guess you could say unfortunately for him He repeatedly failed to enact all of these prank ideas and it, and it all backfired on him mainly and then it also it just kind of culminated just like a, a series of like very very bad areas of job performance and I say you know what screw it you're fired and it seems from that point on, like while my father did agree with what I did, it, it did draw some concerns from him because now I am filming just like my brother. Uh, I don't see what the big deal is because it doesn't actually change anything. There's still going to be a camera around, but you know, don't argue with him. Next thing I know, Boogie2988 is showing up at the house because my brother just unveiled the graphic novel and he's come to collect. So we gift wrapped him. That was that was a lot of fun, and I got to really show her what like a, a true like psychopath really looks like in the forms of Boogie. Um, but in the end, I ended up giving him what he wants, and all he wanted was the graphic novel. So I didn't really see the big deal. But apparently, there was quite the issue. So it's understandable that my father right now is extremely paranoid of YouTube, uh, extremely paranoid of anybody being in the house that he's not aware of. So he's now watching the house. So yeah, guys, that basically brings us up to today's date. I quit my job for YouTube. <laughs> Again, yes, I realize that. Again, a lot of people are confused that I just quit my YouTube channel. I don't understand how the two could be misconstrued. Again, was it a good time to do it? Probably not, but it needed to happen because I was miserable doing what I was doing. If you're gonna go to your job every single day, miserable, dreading the day that you go in, that you're taking six days just to avoid sitting there with a the thumb up your it, you, you're clearly not doing any good for yourself. You're not doing any good for anybody around you. Get out of there. So I did. And now, I feel pretty good. Pretty good. The only thing is I have not come up with a way to tell my father yet. And my brother knows and has that over my head. Especially considering that he 
made the contracts null and void by finding the originals, burning them, and unlinking my channel. So yeah, guys, that's 2018 in a nutshell. I just realized this has been running for like 11 minutes. That's a lot longer than I anticipated. I'm gonna have to cut this up so you guys don't have to deal with all the BS. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do in the meantime, waiting for uh, Swift and Jesse and Dom to get back. I suppose I'm gonna stream tonight. Maybe do a little Fortnite action since that's what you guys are into. I'm not sure when this video is going up, but. So we'll pick this back up whenever those yahoos, those bozos get back in the jersey. Yo, good morning, little brother, little sisters. The brotherhood. <laughs> Thanks, Gina, for that little plug. Also, yes, guys, I realize I have shaving cream in my beard. Guys, I was really expecting last night for, like, Jesse and Swift and Dom to come home. Like, I saw on Twitter that they were, had a long drive ahead of them, but, uh... I stayed up till midnight for the stream and, and I never saw any cars pulling. What the heck? That said, I did receive a voicemail from my Mr. Jeffrey Saxton Jr., my former cameraman. You know, just waiting to get back to your home and want to go to bed in your own bed to come back to only find your car wrapped in f***ing wrapping paper. Now, I realize you're the only one dumb enough to be capable of doing that at your house because you probably would want to do it for a video. Uh, just know if I was you, I would try lightly. No, you're on thin ice with me now. Tread lightly, and, wow. Uh, you know, I took all that so stuff nice. and put it in your car, so hopefully you enjoyed cleaning that out of your car. Uh, just know that's not going to be the only thing I do to your car, put in your car. And if I was you, you know, like I said, I, I just tread lightly because you're on thin ice with me. And also, I might just tell your dad now that you quit your government job. So Please. you got to worry about that, but have a nice one. Wow. Put in my car. What do you put in my car? He's not gonna tell my father. That would involve him having to be here, and he's not supposed to be here. Did I not lock? <sighs> I didn't lock the door, idiot. <sighs> what else? Did... Oh Jesus! Ah! Was it better clean this up? I need to start locking this. Wait a minute, guys, 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 check this out. I just found a dollar bill. Wait, is there more? Oh my god, what if he left more dollars in here? He dropped a dollar. Bubba, he dropped a dollar in my car. It's all clean as a whistle. 